Hello everyone and welcome to my review and demonstration of the Shark Rocket Complete Duo Clean Vacuum Cleaner. This is model HV380UKT and has just been launched onto the UK market. In this video I'll show you everything that comes in the box, followed by some demonstrations on carpet and hard floors, see how easy the cleaner is to empty and maintain, and give you my full summary of this vacuum cleaner. Ok, let's have a look at what's in the box. Apart from the cleaner itself, you also get Shark's new Duo Clean Power Nozzle that incorporates a soft roller at the front that is designed to pick up larger debris from your carpets and hard floors, plus a regular nylon brush roller that deals with pet hairs and gets your carpets deep down clean. For above floor cleaning, you have this all-purpose dusting brush that can be used for lightweight dusting and for cleaning your upholstery and your curtains. You also get an extra long crevice tool for doing your nooks and crannies and down the sides of your chairs etc. You get this little clip that clips to the extension wand so you can put both the small tools on the wand so they're always to hand. And here is the lightweight aluminium wand that's designed to clean up high as well of course cleaning down low. You get this little hook which enables you to store the machine on the wall. And finally you get this power nozzle. This actually contains its own motor. This is ideal for cleaning your pet bedding, for cleaning your stairs and upholstery and for deep cleaning your car mats. And finally you get a quick start guide and the full instructions. To assemble the cleaner for carpet or hard floor cleaning, first insert the aluminium wand into the power nozzle until it clicks. And then take the cleaner and insert it into the top of the wand. To store the two small tools simply attach the clip to the wand and then you can fit the dusting brush and the crevice nozzle to the machine. If you don't want to attach the storage hook to the wall you can also store the machine using the onboard storage hook. Simply place the cleaner over the hook located at the bottom of the wand and then you can wrap the cable around the two hooks. To test how well the Shark Rocket Duo Clean picks up debris from hard floor, I've got this highly polished laminate. I'm going to cover it in a variety of dirt, including larger sized particles, and then we'll see how effective the Duo Clean technology is at removing all the dirt. The power head on the Shark Rocket has two speeds high speed for cleaning carpets, and a lower speed when you're cleaning bare floors and delicate rugs. OK, then it's time for the ultimate test. Let's see how well the shark rocket copes with this debris on this hard floor. <laughs> well, <laughs> I think I can safely say, whoops, that is a very good job. One stray particle of rice has managed to escape the roller this time but it won't fare so well the next time I run the shark over it. Now it hasn't snow ploughed, that's a bugbear of mine with many vacuums whether they're upright or cylinder especially with the rolled oats it just pushes them all to the front there's not many cleaners that cope with that. This cleaner because of the soft brush roll at the front has taken all the larger debris underneath and the suction has removed it into the container. Absolutely fantastic. Apart from, of course, the larger debris, there's not a hint of flour left on this floor either. Okay, let's pick up the rest of this dirt and then for a bit of fun, I'll put a few piles of dirt and see how well it copes with those. <laughs> Okie dokie, just to finish the hard floor demonstration I've put down a rather large pile of rolled oats. Let's see if the Duo Clean can pick all this up without snow ploughing. <laughs> mm. 
Yes, I can confirm that not a single oat has escaped the dual power of the Shark Duo Clean. Very good. I've got another little pile of cereal. We'll just test it on that and then I'll go on to the carpet cleaning demonstrations. I've put down some other breakfast cereal now with some quite large flakes and a few sultanas and currants as well. So, not sure how it's gonna cope with this, but we can but try. My regular viewers will know who this little madam is. This is Daisy, and Daisy has kindly provided me with some hair for the next demonstration. Now it's only last week, wasn't it Daisy, that I managed to get quite a lot of hair out of you for a vacuum cleaner that didn't fare so well. But I'm hoping that this Shark Rocket Duo Clean will do better. Oh and look, here's Molly making a guest appearance for a change. Molly doesn't shed hairs so I can't get any off her, but Daisy has come up trumps again with a load of hair. So let's see how well the Shark Rocket Duo Clean picks all this up. Because I'm cleaning carpets, I'm going to use the shark on its high speed setting. Well, it has done a lot better than the vacuum cleaner I tested last week, but it hasn't done absolutely fantastically. There's still quite a lot of hair left in here. I'm going to have to go over that again. This is an extreme example, and this hair I've obtained from Daisy, I've used the Ferminator, which takes the sort of underbelly hair out of the dog's coat, and that really does stick to the carpet. That's why I use it, because it's a good test. So I'm a little bit surprised it's not removed it in one sweep forward and one sweep back, but it still made a better impression than the other cleaner I tested. Let's try again. <laughs> So as you can see it's going to take a few passes, but also what you can see is what I, what I call my lines of shame, and the shark has left two lines of hair, two very neat lines, because of the brush roll guards on the underside of the power nozzle, here and here. It means that there's an area not being swept, but hopefully we can clean the rest of this up. I'm just going to clean this normally back and forward until all the hair is removed. say I am a little bit disappointed with that. It's still left a it's still left a little bit. But obviously unless you're grooming your dogs in the middle of your living room it shouldn't be such a problem. I find when using this machine normally it seems to pick everything up but it's not full marks I'm afraid for pet hair removal. Let's see however how it does on regular dirt. I'm going to cover this nice clean carpet with a load of different types of debris and we'll see how well the Duo Clean picks that up. I've really gone to town on spreading the dirt on the carpet. Now normally when I do a demonstration on carpets with a vacuum cleaner I tend to remove the larger debris because I know it's not going to pick it up. So for example these big chunks of hairs, this leaf and well, we've got some feathers here as well. I would normally remove those because the majority of vacuums will just push those dark larger debris to the front of the nozzle. But with a duo clean, I'm going to leave them. Just let's give it a real test. Obviously, again, it's extreme. I don't expect you to have carpets this dirty, but my thinking is if it's going to clean up this dirt, then it'll have no problem cleaning up 
the average home. So <laughs> this is all new to me. I've not tested this machine before making this video. I've hardly used it to be honest because I wanted to save it for the video and my reactions will be genuine. So very impressed with hard floor, little bit disappointed with the pet hair. How's it going to fare on all this mess? Okay, I'll just pass the nozzle forward and back through the middle and we'll see how clean it leaves it. Now, I'm not going to edit this. It hasn't done very well. Now, the reason it hasn't done very well, as some of you may have detected, it's because I think I've blocked it up. So what I'm going to have to do, yes, the container is, is actually chock-a-block. So I'm going to have to empty it. I'll just empty it off camera. Now, this is what often happens. I'm trying to pick up too much in one go. So as I said, it's an extreme example. It's not a particularly fair example. Despite that though, if you can see, there is still a noticeably clean path or cleaner path. So I've emptied the container. I'll just pass the nozzle again through the middle. This lovely clean finish is now covered in dust, but never mind. Things get dirty during my demos. Okay, let's try again. So as you can see, that is a pretty clean path. As I said, the first, it was picking up a rather lot of debris in one go and a machine of this capacity just can't cope with it. A lot of bagless cleaners, when I present them with this sort of dirt, they tend to clog up pretty quickly. But the bit that it has cleaned, yes, it took four passes because I had to empty the container in between. It's done quite a good job if you'll see. I think, I think you'll agree with that. Now, I'm going to do some more cleaning, but bear in mind, I probably will have to stop to empty the container. It picked up a big, a big clump of hair and it's actually blocked up. So it will pick everything up, but it's going to take quite a few emptings to remove all this dirt. Well, even though I did have to empty the machine several times, it has picked all that debris up. Obviously, it's not designed for such a large amount of dirt in one go, but here is the pile of dirt that's all been emptied out of the shark rocket. I've just got to empty it one more time, and then we'll see how effective the mini motorized turbo brush is. Unlike the very first shark rocket, you can actually remove the dust container on all the later models. You just squeeze the dust cup release button either side of the container and then it comes away. And then to empty the debris, you simply press the silver button and then the flap will open and all the debris will come out. I'll show you the filters at the end of the program or video to see how clean they've remained. 
But as you can see, as I said, I have to empty the machine a few times, but it did pick up everything in the end. I managed to retrieve some of Daisy's hair from the previous pet hair pickup demo on carpets and I've rubbed it into the chair here. There's also a few other bits and pieces that were left over on the carpet. There's some rice particles and a bit of flour. So let's see how effective the mini motorized tool is at cleaning this chair. Well, it certainly removed the majority of the debris. It certainly removed all the hair for one, but it's left a few of the rice particles because they've been scattered down the sides of the chair. But that's no problem. I'll just get the crevice tool in a moment and I'll deal with that. Uh, I would only use this motorized head on hard wearing upholstery if it's too delicate, if you've got loose fringes, or if the material is quite loose, then I wouldn't use it. If you're having trouble pushing the nozzle on your upholstery, there is a little suction control here. You can open that up and that reduces the suction at the cleaner head. To use the Shark Rocket for above floor cleaning, all you have to do is press the wand release button with your foot and you can put any of the nozzles directly onto the end of the wand. So you can reach up high. Or of course you can use the attachments directly onto the unit itself, including of course the main motorized power head. So if you want to clean your stairs, you can actually use the machine like this. If you've only ever used a handheld or such an only cleaner on your stairs, you might find a lot of hidden dirt in them when you use your Shark Rocket for the first time. It is a little bit large and slightly heavy to use on stairs with a power nozzle, but the results will be well worth it. I'm almost at the end of my demonstration and review, but as I promised earlier, let's have a look at the filters. Obviously, I've had to empty the machine quite a few times, and it's not looking as nice as it looked at the start of the video, but a quick wipe round and it'll be restored as good as new. So the filter is located under the top, and it says on it to clean filters monthly. Well, I've done more than a month's worth of cleaning, I think, in these demos, so it might need cleaning now. Yes, it does. That's the top of the filter. Obviously, the fine particles, the flour, has stuck. You can actually rinse that under running water. Make sure it's thoroughly dry before putting it back on the machine. Here is the top filter. It's a sponge filter, and it is quite dirty as you can see, but being sponge it's very easy to clean. All shark vacuum cleaners I've used so far have had this system of a sponge filter on top and a fabric filter underneath. All you have to do with that is rinse it under running water, squeeze it out, leave it somewhere to dry, not over direct heat, and then put it back in your machine and it'll be as good as new. That though is not average. If you're using this machine normally it should only require about once a month um, a filter wash, but because I've done a lot of demos today, that will need a clean. And underneath, another washable filter. That's a dual layer fabric filter. Again, rinse that under running water. Instead of squeezing it out, I find you can put it in between two tea towels, press out as much moisture as you can, and then again leave that to dry and until it's thoroughly dry then you can put it back in the cleaner. It's a good idea if this is your only vacuum and you use it all the time buy a spare set of filters direct from Shark's website they're reasonably priced and then when you're washing one set you can put the spare set in so you're always um, you've always got your Shark ready. It's got a little bit of dirt that's uh, fallen off the filter. As I said it's quite extreme despite that underneath the filter is pretty clean so it does a fairly good job of actually stopping any debris from getting any dust from getting out of the machine. There's a final filter at the back that again can be washed. It comes out, it's a little very small little fabric filter. As you can see it's got a bit black but that's with the carbon dust from the motor. That's not actually from dust uh, from the demonstrations. So that's again, that's washable. And again, make sure it's dry before putting it back in the machine. 
Well that's about the end of my demonstration of the Shark Rocket Duo Clean Complete. I think it's a very good vacuum cleaner, especially on hard floors and especially for picking up larger debris. There's no snow ploughing with this machine, which is unusual for most vacuum cleaners that I've tested. It did an acceptable job on the pet tear, not fantastic, but it did get it up in the end. And the extreme mess test, again, it did get everything in the end, but I did have to empty the machine quite often, which is expected. It's a smaller capacity vacuum, and that was rather a lot of mess to deal with. One major negative of this cleaner is the noise level. It's around 80 decibels, which is rather loud for a vacuum. I would like to see Shark develop more quieter vacuum cleaners in the future. One thing that I think this machine lacks is the hose attachment that you can get in the USA. Now this is a larger hose that you can fit all the large nozzles to the dusting brush and the crevice tool etc. This would make the cleaner more versatile for use in the car. Shark kindly sent me this little hose. This is a detailed kit. You can buy this from Shark's website. This is ideal for cleaning in the car and doing delicate items like your hi-fi and stuff, uh, the grills on your hi-fi and the TV, but it's not so suitable for cleaning larger debris from say under your car seats. So if Shark could introduce the large hose that would be fantastic. Thanks for the review. Thanks to Shark UK for sending the machine to review. And if you have any questions about this cleaner, please ask in the comments section below. So until the next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.